and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. King said to thank you for lending this to him. I'm always glad to help. Can we go now, Adam? This place gives me the creep. Cringer, that's very rude. You apologize right now. I'm sorry you live in such a creepy place, Sorceress. Cringer! That's all right, Adam. Sorceress, help us, please. What's that? It's the Silani. They're trying to contact me magically. Sorceress. Who are the Salani? The fairy folk. They live in the Whispering Valley. Oh, they're adorable. I can hear you. Tell me how I can help. A huntsman has entered the Mystic Mountains. He seeks our valley and the unicorn. A unicorn? I didn't think they still existed. There is only one left on all Eternia. The Salani are sworn to protect it. Who is this huntsman? His name is Baron Grod. Grod? Yes, I've heard of him. I will do what I can. Thank you, sorceress. Thank you. But please, hurry. If Grod's hunt is successful, the unicorn will vanish from our world. Then we've got to stop him. Well, there's no law against hunting, Tila. Well, there should be. I agree with you, Tila. But the prince is right. However, perhaps the Baron can be reasoned with. If he knows this unicorn is the last of its kind, he may stop his hunt. Well, I'll be glad to talk to him. Me too. His castle lies at the edge of the Mystic Mountains. We can be there in no time. You mean I have to go too? What are you afraid of now? Suppose this Baron decides to hunt me. I'd look terrible hanging on a wall. We'd never let anyone hang you on a wall, would we, Tila? Oh, of course not. Besides, you'd look better as a rug. A rug? Me? <laughs> I'm only teasing, silly. Well, I don't think it was very funny. A rug, indeed. I hope you can convince the Baron not to hunt the unicorn. We'll convince him, all right, one way or the other. We'll have a better chance if you control your temper. Prince Adam is right. Reason is always better than anger. I know, it's... Well, it's just when I think of him hunting down a poor, defenseless creature, I get so mad! I don't like the idea either, but we're dealing with a loyal nobleman, not with Skeletor. If you ask me, he's almost as bad as Skeletor. Well, we'll soon see. Goodbye, sorceress. Farewell, Prince Adam. And good fortune. That must be Grodd's castle. Let's hope the Baron's in. there. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia. We want to speak with Baron Grodd. Immediately! 
The Baron is on the practice range, Your Highness. If you'll wait, I'll send someone for him. Don't bother. We'll go ourselves. Where is it? That way. Target. Let's have three this time. Pretty good shooting. Who are you? I am Prince Adam. And this is Tila, Captain of the Royal Guard, and my friend and companion, Cringer. Your Highness, forgive me for not recognizing you. I haven't been to the Royal Palace in a long time. Baron, we want to talk to you about a very important matter. Of course. But let's go inside where we can be more comfortable. Growler, come. <laughs> Cringer! Your pet is not very brave, is he? I built mine to fear nothing. Well, he has his moments. Unfortunately, this isn't one of them. Will you get down? You're embarrassing me. I'd rather be embarrassed than you. Hmm? A shame. Such a good-looking beast. <laughs> well, shall we go? Just lead the way. At least he thinks you look good, Cringer. He probably wants to make me into a cult. My trophies. I caught each animal myself. Magnificent, aren't they? Disgusting is more like it. All these poor animals. Control yourself. They, uh, yeah, they look almost alive. They are. I put them in a state of paralysis when I catch them. It preserves their natural beauty better. That monster! How can he be so cruel? Now, what is it you wish to speak about? Well, we understand you're about to hunt down a unicorn. Quite true. It will be my greatest hunt ever. Do you know that it's the last unicorn on Eternia? Of course. That's why it's such a valuable catch. No huntsman on this world can boast such a trophy. But the unicorn has a right to live, especially since it's the last of its kind. But it will live. In fact, it will live forever, just as all my trophies do. And I mean to have it. You can't reason with a villain like him, Adam. Calm down, Tila. You won't call off this hunt? That's correct. Well, in that case, I have no choice but to ask the king for a royal order against it. As much as I respect the royal family, you have no right to meddle in my affairs. And you have no right to hunt down the last unicorn for your own selfish pleasure. As I'm sure my father will agree. Goodbye, Baron. You sure told him, Adam. Good for you. Way to go, pal. Now wait, come back. You can't do this. We've got to get back to the palace immediately. Baron Grodd to Gamrak. Come in, Gamrak. Gamrak, this is Baron Grodd calling. Answer, you stupid ogre. Gamrak, here's you, Grodd. Speak. A wind raider has just left my castle, heading south. I want you to bring it down and take the passengers prisoner. Who are the passengers? Prince Adam and Tila, captain of the Royal Guard. Mm, very important people. A lot of risk. I'll pay well, as I always do. Of course, if you're afraid... I am chieftain of the ogres, of the mystic mountains. I fear nothing, but the pay must be double this time. Agreed. But no one must know I'm involved, and I don't want them harmed, only held for a while. It will be as you say. So much for the high and mighty Prince of Eternia. <laughs> the tractor beam. Hey, take it easy. It wasn't me. Something's locked on to us. It's a tractor beam and it's pulling us down. I'll give it full power. Maybe we can break loose. It's no good. That beam's too powerful. We're going to crash. 
Rush, you mean into the g- g- ground? We'll have to jump for it. When the king hears of this, you'll be in big trouble, Ogre. The king will not hear. No one will hear for a long, long time. I want to get out of here, Adam. I don't like this place. My sword. What are you going to do with us? <laughs> you will have a long, happy life as slaves in our mines. But mines are dirty and... and, and... Dark! I'm going to try something. Get ready to run for it. Enough talk. Take them to the mines. Not so fast, Dugly. Come on, Adam. Let's get out of here. Wait, my sword. I'll get it. Ranger, look out. Get them! Get them all! This is far enough. Not for me, it's not. By the power of Grayskull! It's Tila. There's no time to talk now. Adam's all right. Let's get out of here before those ogres improve their aim. They're right behind us. Time to slam the door on these ogres. I don't think they'll give us any more trouble. Now to stop Baron Grodd. You know about him? Uh, yeah, oh, yes, of course. If he's the reason I'm here, and unless I miss my guess, he's already hunting the unicorn. Over here! 
Growler, what? What's going on here? <laughs> Growler, your stun beam! <laughs> that will take care of you. Now for the unicorn. There it is. What a marvelous trophy it will make. We should reach the Whispering Valley soon. I just hope we're in time. Go, Growler! <laughs> Away, Growler! Now, beast, we end the hunt! It's done. He went this way, all right! Too late. We have failed. The last unicorn is gone. We haven't failed yet. Come on. You may begin the paralyzation process. Soon, dear creature, you will be immortal. Baron Grunt, the castle is under attack. Attack? Come, Growler. He-Man, you go after Grodd. I can hold this crew back. Right. He-Man, why do you attack my castle? I want you to free that unicorn. Never. Growler. Are you ready to give up? Not yet, He-Man. That's a miss, Baron. Is it? And now something for your cat to play with. No, no! Time to let go! In trouble. Come on. Stay away. Stay away. Good shot, Taylor. You you saved me. It's not much fun being chased and trapped, is it? Now maybe you know how animals feel when you hunt them. I never realized I've been a fool. I'll free the unicorn, and all the other animals, too. Well, it looks like our work is finished. Not quite yet. And that's the whole story, Father. A most disturbing tale. 
But you say the Baron has seen the error of his ways. He has, Your Majesty. But there are many others who haven't. And that's why we ask your help. And you shall have it. I hereby decree that from this day on, the hunting of animals for sport is outlawed on Eternia. Looks like we've done it, Tila. Don't forget about He-Man. Oh, that's, that's one fella I never forget. In today's story, I was very angry at Baron Grodd. I was supposed to try and talk him out of hunting the unicorn, but I kept losing my temper. And when you lose your temper, you can't think clearly. We all get angry at times, but we should learn to control our tempers. It's better to stay cool and talk things out reasonably. Now, it's not always easy, but it's usually the best way to solve any problem. Until next time, bye.